to the front office. Thank you. Oh, can you hear me now? Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. I better read Warren's text before he blows my phone up. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? He's aloof. He seems like he's always above you. Not like a snob, but like you don't know what's in his head. Maybe. Mr. Jefferson just has his own style. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Now that you mention it, he doesn't respond to Victoria's flirting. That means he has good taste. You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Well, I heard that from a good source. So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of clique. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. Damn it. Justin. Check out the Max. Come to thrash? Oh, yeah? Bring it. What's your first move gonna be? Uh, jump? <laughs> You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. Alright, fine. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Mm -hmm. Rachel Amber. Do you know her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait, oh, she was a natural. Okay, why don't you start drawing me, even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way, you're a good substitute, Muse. Oh, that's a good posture. Good, good. Best portrait ever. Five minutes out. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. No! What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. 
You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. No. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it, right before I post it, all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Victoria, it's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Any Sweet. None shall pass. Capiche? Sweet. See if this works. No. Ah, what the hell? Are you kidding? Look at the hill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. not good for hair, no? Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? <laughs> Don't. Don't say a word, oh, Max. Wait. Hold that pose. Yeah. And no, no filter needed. No filter needed before I post this. Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Sweet home, my favorite cocoon. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. 
Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. I look so pathetic. Daniel has so much talent. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. It feels so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre and it feels like it has gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or like Poe said, a dream within a dream. Real drama queens of Blackwell. Oh, Juliet, this is so stupid. Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are ridiculous. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Answer, you what? <laughs> That's real nice, Victoria. And who the hell- Boom. This is the email I need to be show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach had about uh, Victoria. He set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get your flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Fucking sick. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. 
Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. When you opened the flash drive, didn't you see the special folder called Max? Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Are you blushing? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and grab the flash drive whenever. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Oh, shit. That hurt. Damn. I better rewind. <laughs> Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Okay, fine. Jeez. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Hope you enjoyed the show. You're so Thanks for nothing, cute. Max. You're so fucking cute. Man, I should have stepped in between. On something. That guy was an asshole. I wonder how long before Samuel has to repaint that. I don't get it. How could Zach and Victoria do that? Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexed Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. At least Rachel Amber has people who care about her.
Look at Warren in his Wayback Machine. He's a brave man. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Man, I saw that Victoria didn't take down that pic of you on Facebook. Major bitch move. No worries, Warren. I took a sweet shot of Victoria I can't wait to share. Oh, score one for Team Max. It would be so karmic to see her ass clown face all over the interwebs. I guess she does deserve it for all the shitty things she's done to people here. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. You can draw? I thought you were blinded by science, not art. Art is science. Music is math, etc., etc. I'd put Stephen Hawking against Picasso any day. Hardcore. So you must use a computer to draw. Of course. I'd love to tweak one of your selfies with some cool graphics. That might not suck. I'll let you know. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? No, I've been way too busy with class and life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. Or a week. I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. No fucking way will I watch that. My mind is twisted enough. I laughed my ass off. So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. <laughs> Russ Mayer was a genius with black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I don't want to speak about it. This is kind of a crazy day for me. I mean, I literally think I'm going crazy. I may be a pest, but I'm a good listener. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. Answer me, bitch! I told him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh, man. You're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, not that whore Wait in the bathroom! Down. Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Oh, oh, my God. Hey, Max! Get your punk asses out of there! 